Hey everybody, welcome back. So in all of our videos, we've been doing professional uh, office looks, but what about on the weekends? If you're grabbing those last minute presents or say you're going to just grab coffee with some friends, you wanna be able to throw together a quick look that still makes you look put together and is easy to do. So I'm gonna do a look that you can do within 10 minutes um, that's simple. Um, we skip some of that really intense highlighting and contouring, but still make a look that looks very put together. Um, my lipstick, just to warn you, was a little darker than I was initially expecting. Um, so you can definitely go with more of a neutral or nude lip um, but if you want to recreate this look keep watching okay so even though this is going to be like a quicker makeup look we still want to stick with some key steps and that's starting with a primer we're using today the avance flawless effect skincare invisible pores anti-shine um this will definitely ensure that we have that nice look throughout the day without having to touch it up a bunch um, i've actually never used this formula before it's a little bit um more liquidy than i was expecting um, most of the other uh, primers I use are a little bit um, more of like a cream instead of like an oil or um, like a very thin formula. So, all right, now that I look quite shiny with it on, hopefully this actually does uh, actually keep me shineless throughout the day once it dries. So let's put that to the side and I'm going to then go in with a L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. Um, I'm kind of in between um, the 102 and 103 right now for my shade. So I'm gonna kind of put both together on the back of my hand here and kind of mix them together a little bit. Um, just like I said, I'm kind of in between these two shades. I'm not really quite the summer shade um, so now that I have both of those kind of on the back of my hand, I'm going to kind of mix them together a little bit with a foundation brush and then kind of start putting that across my face. I'm going to kind of start putting some product in the middle and then distributing it out. So this um, foundation, I actually really love for more of just an easy weekend look. Um, it isn't necessarily like your full coverage um, that you'd see with a thicker formula, but it goes on pretty easily and it covers probably medium coverage, I would say. Um, and like I said, it's great for if you're going out on the weekends um, or just going to grab lunch or coffee um, with friends or get some holiday shopping done because it definitely um, has a really nice finish to it, um, but it isn't so thick so you don't feel like you're totally done up in the middle of the day. And we're gonna bring it just a little bit down onto the neck with a little bit of that product that I have left just so everything is really well blended again. We want this to look very natural. Okay, so now that we have done that, we are going to go in and highlight. So I am going to go in with the It Cosmetics Under Eye Concealer. I know I pretty much use this in almost every video. Um, it is just my absolute go-to uh, under eye concealer. I feel like it really stays on all day long and I don't have to worry about it. Um, it doesn't really crease and it definitely covers any redness more than any other under eye concealer that I have used. So I'm going to um, just take a small concealer brush and start kind of working that in underneath the eye and bringing that down kind of into that V shape here. And it, does, it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we just kind of want to work that a little bit down. I'm going to start bringing it a little bit up into the, the eye area here to kind of make sure that this entire area is highlighted. Okay, now while the It Cosmetics is really great for the under the eyes, I don't necessarily need quite as thick of a formula to highlight for the rest of my face. I am going to go in with Maybelline's uh, Instant Age Rewind, and I'm going to just put that on the rest of the places that I would usually highlight. I'm um, just an X on my forehead, down the bridge of the nose, around the nose, Cupid's bow, and on the chin. And then going to use this kind of a more sheer lighter formula for the rest of my highlighting, and just blend that in. Okay, and I think I've, alrighty. So once that is blended in, like I said, usually we go in and contour at this point, um, but since this is more of just an everyday look, we're going to actually go right into our setting powder from here. So I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier setting powder, put a little bit of that in my lid here, and I'm going, going to use a damp beauty blender to um, set that in. So I'm going to go uh, wet my beauty blender, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to take my damp beauty blender into some of that Laura Mercier setting powder and kind of roll that into the container and then start pressing in into the areas that I have concealed. And this will really just ensure that this makeup stays in place so you don't have to mess with it for the rest of the day. And 
I just know that I myself tend to be a very shiny, so I like to put a little bit of that setting spray after I put it um, on those areas that I highlighted, just a, put a little bit more into my lid and just dab a little bit of that, um, pat that in um, across the, the entire face. So kind of just push that into the skin. And you don't need a whole lot for this. A lighter touch is better. Again, we were not going for a really heavy polished look. So now that that is pushed into the skin, I am going to go in with my powder uh, bronzer and just do a little bit of where I would typically contour with a cream. So I just have the um, NYC Color Real Mosaic Face Powder, and I'm going to kind of go into the um, darker areas. Let's get a little bit of a smaller brush here. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this kind of smaller, almost more like an eyeshadow brush and go into some of the darker shades, kind of middle shades here, and put that along where I would usually contour. So right in the hollows of the cheekbone, and start blending that up a little bit. Make sure that's really blended. And then on the long of the top of the hairline, make sure that's all, like I said, really blended out. And the nice thing about the powder is it usually gives you a little bit more of a natural look instead of the cream product. A little bit on the sides of the nose. And then just a little bit on the bottom of the jawline. Okay, so now that we've gone in with some of those, um, the colors to bronze a little bit, I'm just going to take a larger foundation brush um, and kind of blend a little bit more in uh, the powder foundation just to kind of work that in, make sure there's no harsh lines, making sure that those colors are blended. Okay, now I'm going to try this new City Color B Matte Blush Set that I just got in my Ipsy Glam bag. I've never used these before, but I do love blushes. I'm going to go with this um, Fresh Melon color um, over to the side here. It's a little bit more of a, I guess, oh, well, pretty, it's very pinky, but it's less coral than the guava color. So I'm just going to take um, just a regular uh, Sephora blush brush, angle blush brush, and start working that in. And if you're someone that doesn't particularly like love blush, you can probably even skip this step. I just like look putting a little bit of color on the cheeks. Even if I'm not really putting on any foundation, I like putting a little bit of blush on. I just find with blush it kind of brightens up the face, definitely makes you look more awake and a little bit more put together. Again, this is a pretty strong pigment, this color I'm finding. Um, like I said, I'm using this for the first time, but just a little bit and kind of work that in. Okay, now that I've gotten the blush done, I'm going to go in and do a really, really easy eye. I've been using these Sephora um, Colorful Crayons, um, and I actually have one is Sephora and one is a brand called Batter Up um, that you can find in Kohl's. It has a bunch of different colors, um, and I've kind of paired them up. So I have one of like a lighter, like a champagne-y color, and then a more of a brown um, both of them are kind of shimmery and what I do is I put um, of the take whatever color the lighter one is and you can do um, a lighter uh, like a champagne and a medium brown um, you can do like a light silver and like a, a gray but you kind of just put them kind of all over the lid it doesn't need to be perfect um, kind of up to the brown bone really like I said all over the lid um, this is kind of just like a small flat brush that I'm going to be uh, eyeshadow brush that I'm going to be using to blend this in and this kind of um, multitasks as like a base um, color as well as a brow highlighter if you can find one that's like lighter and a little bit more shimmery um, but anyway then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker color and just make a little V um, kind of uh, along the crease here and then up uh, I'm sorry along the lash line and then into the crease so kind of make that C or that V there on both sides and you can go in fairly dark and get make sure you get enough pigment on there. Then they go back in and blend, and this kind of gives you basically almost an instant smoky eye without actually having to go in and build a million layers. Just make sure you're keeping this towards the, the outer half of your eye, um, and just, you know, you can kind of blend it so that there's still room to see the, ship, the, the lighter color along the brow, but you can pretty much bring that color up pretty high, and because it's so creamy, they really blend right together, and like I said, it kind of gives that immediate um, smoky eye effect without um, you know 20 minutes of blending and building different colors okay so once I have that pretty easy like I said that's like super fast it just took me like two seconds to just throw that on blend them together now I am going to go into an eyeliner um, I've been using the felt tip markers a lot but today I have the it cosmetics no tug waterproof gel eyeliner um, I am not super adept at using the brush gel with a pot so I find that this is really easy so we are just going to take this and draw just a really small fine line just on the top line only. We're not gonna do the, the waterline or the bottom lash. 
Okay, and then they've done the other eye. And if you really want to even soften this a little bit more, you can even go in and smudge the eyeliner just a little bit with a really tiny, um, this is just a concealer brush by e.l.f. And just kind of smudge that a little bit up. Again, just so it's not perfect, um, but still kind of gives you some definition. Okay. All right, now that we've done that, again, since this is more of a quicker, simpler look, we're not going to go in and do anything too crazy with the brows and draw anything in. I'm just going to go in and use a tinted brow gel, the Gimme Brow in 3. Um, and I, I typically kind of use this every day, even when I do want a more uh, defined brow, just because I do already have such dark brows. And going any darker really looks a little crazy on camera, uh, on TV. I know it can look really great in those like Instagram pictures, but on TV it looks a little crazy. So... I typically don't do anything darker than this, but this is just a really easy way to go in and kind of fill in any of the sparse areas and offer a little bit of definition. And I will have to still do a video of full filling in brows um, with you know pencil, powder, a couple different ways. Um, well, I hope you've gotten all of your Christmas shopping done by now. I know we had a few last minute gifts to get, but Got everything done, going to get the rest of my wrapping done today. Okay, so once you kind of have those as dark as you want, and you can even just go in with a clear gel um, if you're not really wanting to do anything crazy and you really just want a little bit of definition so that the brow hairs aren't going all over the place, you can even just do a clear uh, brow gel. Alrighty, so now that we have our brows done, we're going to go in and do mascara. Now this would probably, oh actually first before we do mascara, we are going to do some highlighter. Um, I've been loving the Sephora Micro Smooth Illuminator Baked Luminizer. Um, it's just really easy to use. I just get kind of a fluffy brush here and just work that into the areas of like the temple down to the top of the cheekbone. You don't need to bring it too far down. Again, this is not a crazy look, but we want just a little bit of shimmer. It is the holidays after all. Okay, so the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. Um, this is my go-to mascara. Definitely, uh, it's easy to use. You don't need, you only need a coat or two and you're good to go. So, and you know what? I'm already seeing a little bit of transfer from that eyeliner I used, what was that one? That was the, the Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. I have never used this on my top uh, as a top liner. I've only used it for a waterline, um, and I'm a little bit upset that it's already transferring. I have to say, that's why I really love the felt tip um, eyeline markers more so. I feel like they do not transfer as much as the gel eyeliners do. You might have to try out a couple before you pick one. That's why I love the, the Ipsy uh, Glam Bags. It kind of lets you try different eyeliners and mascaras and kind of find one that really works with your, with your particular eyelids and, and eyeshadows that you like to wear. Okay, and I'm actually going to go back and I think with a second mascara, I'm going to go in with my Better Than Sex Too Faced Waterproof Mascara and just put a second coat over my lashes. You can definitely skip this step. I just have gotten so used to doing really big lashes every day that I love now doing that two-step, the Colossal first and then the Better Than Sex Mascara. And we're going to need to touch up that creasing from that gel liner also before we do a setting spray. So before I put on the setting spray, I'm just going to dust a little bit because I'm noticing I'm still a little, well, it's still pretty shiny. So I'm going to put some of the uh, HD uh, Makeup Forever Press Powder, just the, the white translucent powder. I'm just gonna dust a little bit of that um, all over, just kind of press it in to my skin, especially in my T-zone. I feel like I'm still a little bit shiny now if you are not quite as shiny as i am you can definitely skip this step I'm probably getting past our 10 minute mark at this point and of course when we have a lot to do on the weekends we don't have a ton of time to put makeup together okay so i feel like that's pretty good everything seems like it's blended i'm now going to go in with the urban decay d slick makeup setting spray this is pretty much the only setting spray i use i find that it just absolutely keeps your makeup in place so i keep using it so let's put a little bit of that Okay, and we'll let that soak in. And while that is soaking in, I'm going to do just an easy lip. Um, the one I was excited to try out, this was in my Ipsy Glam bag as well. This is the um, Seat London Liquid Velvet, and it is in the color Pinup. So while the rest of my face is setting, um, we are going to go in and try this. Um, 
and it has what looks like a pretty easy to use applicator so I'm going to use just that to put it on to start with my bottom lip Ooh, it's a lot darker than I thought uh, well we are gonna go with it and I'm just gonna make a little X on my cupid's bow that X kind of just helps make sure that your your both sides of your cupid's bow are symmetrical and then we can kind of connect that to the outer corner I love a really big round cupid's bow so I usually go back in once I fill in that top lip here Oh, I do love this color. It's a little bit probably too dark than you want to use if you're just going out, again, running errands for the weekend, but we are going to go with it. Well, this color is gorgeous. It's like I said, it's definitely too dark um, for the look I'm going for, but, oh, but it's very, very pretty. It's a very pretty color. It looks really good. I am absolutely going to use this on Monday. All right, so... Now that our setting spray has dried, um, I'm going to just put a teensy bit more setting powder, the Laura Mercier on. I'm just already seeing a little bit more shine in my T-zone, probably just from the setting spray. Being a little shiny, so just right in that T-zone there. Oh, and I've smudged. Okay, so I've just put a little bit of that rest of that setting spray on, or setting powder on just to really make sure I have a really matte finish. So this is the completed look. Again, besides the lip, which ended up being a little bit stronger than anticipated, um, this is pretty quick and simple to do. You can definitely do it within 10 minutes. Um, and again, feel like you're a little bit put together, but um, not totally glammed up. Um, and really, you can even use this look during the week if you don't want to spend a whole lot of time on your makeup. Um, my suggestions um, really would be specifically on the eyes, doing something that's really quick and easy to do. Um, sometimes leaving your uh, lids bare can be nice, but sometimes a little bit of discoloration or if you get a little bit of an oily lid, it's nice to have something on there. So this is the completed uh, every day or going out on the weekends um, for lunch or coffee with the girls. Um, just an easy look to do. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe.